It's like a facelift. Oh, you think so? <laughs> That's Pat McGrath for you. I don't know. Just you did. have to hold it up like this so I'm you don't sorry. blind them. Okay. Sorry, guys, if this isn't like the best lighting ever. We're just in our bathroom at home having fun. What's up, friends? Welcome back to my channel. I hope you all are doing well. By popular demand, we are back here with my mom, Caitlin. We're going to be doing another spring get ready with me for you guys. I asked you guys on my Instagram, what kind of video do you want me to do with my mom? And you guys voted and you said you wanted a spring get ready with me while my mom gives you her impressions of new spring and summer makeup. I also had you guys vote what eyeshadow palette you guys wanted her to try out. So we will reveal that through the get ready with me. So we've got some Tom Ford, some Chanel here, Dior, we have some Pat McGrath. Basically all the new stuff, we're gonna be using it in this video. If you like this video, please don't forget to give us a big thumbs up. All the products will be linked down below. And without further ado, let's get into it. So do you wanna introduce yourself, mom? <laughs> Hi, I'm Sophia's mom, my name's Caitlin. I will link the last video that we did in the description box. I'm pretty sure when you Google Sophia Sees Beauty on Google, it's the first thing that pops up. I don't think I've ever received so many comments on a video. Why don't you show them what we Yeah, use? so I used this clay de peau as a foundation. I thought it was fantastic. Even though it's the same color that Sophia uses and I feel like I'm a darker skin, it really brightens up my skin. I really like it. I would definitely recommend that. And, and this is the Radiant Cream Foundation. You basically it's like a just, moisturizer. You just rub it in with your yeah. fingers and like this is the coverage it gives and you. And you don't need very much because I put too much in my hand and then I had to give it to you. Yeah, we had to yeah. share it. It's B10 Light Beige. Good for It me. works really yeah. well on my mom though, who's usually a little bit tanner. So we started off with this. That was good. I highly recommend that. And then this is um, Uoma. Uma. We Uma. did the Uma Beauty Stable. Under my eyes. Stable and again, concealer. I thought that it was going to be too light, but I think I was going too dark. And I feel like both of these have a some sort of ref light reflective quality because they make your skin look more radiant. Highly recommend those. Yeah, so both Never of these are really good for pretty much like dry skin, mature skin, honestly, anybody. These were the yeah, darkest great. shades I had, so that's why yeah, we tried them on her. For the record, my mom is like not a makeup artist. Mm. She's just like an average makeup wear. She shops at Sephora. She just picks out things that she likes, so. I She's usually just, have you order me stuff. Though. Yeah, usually I order her things and then she just kind of like figures out how to use them. So you guys will see mm. how she creates her look. So I think we're going to start off I first. I don't have a look, but okay. <laughs> We're going to start off first for this spring look with bronzer. So we've got, we've got the two Pat McGrath ones. We have Naked Desire, which is the lightest shade, and Nude Honey, which is the second lightest. And then I also have the Christian Dior one from the Summer Collection, and this is... 003 but i think we're gonna i think we're gonna try nude honey because it's in the middle and this one might be a little bit too warm maybe when you're tanner after being in the garden all summer you can use that one we're gonna start off with this one okay so this looks really dark for me i guess the word bronzer means it's supposed to be applied to make it look like i got touched by the sun or something well, this one this one is a is one of the lightest shades okay if that's too dark we can go to this one well, how am I going to know if it's too dark? <laughs> we could swatch it. You want me to swatch them? Like, look how light this is. Oh, yeah, is. it doesn't actually look very it's dark at all. super duper yeah, light. Yeah, you're right, you're right. Show oh, them yeah. your brushes. I got a lot of brushes. Okay, so my mom has the full BK Beauty travel set and a couple of extra ones that she wanted that I had. And after our last video, by the way, BK Beauty gifted my mom the full Angie Hot and Flashy set. So thank you, yeah. BK Beauty. It's not sponsored yes. at all. Much appreciated. But just want to say thank you in yeah. this video. Thank you for gifting them to my mom. Yeah. Super nice. So she's going to use them today. So we're using Angie Hot and Flashy 507. This one's really good for blush and, and which bronzer. One and then you're just going to put it on the tops here. Actually, uh, like here, um, here on the top of where my yeah, phone yeah. is. Okay. Well, that's nice. I like that because it's not like a blush, which I don't think I need. Yeah. I'm going to use the lighter shade, Naked Desire, so we can I think match. I could actually use that. This almost looks like blush. It's very nice, though. I didn't think it would look like that. You want to try the lighter one like me? Yeah. Here, let me okay, wipe this let me, off a little bit. I've really been liking the lighter one. Like a lot of people were, thought that it was going to be too light and I, I was also a bit skeptical, but it's super, very, it's, very super nice. it's, it's the most natural bronzer I think I've ever tried. Now you're putting too much. No, I'm not. I'm very pale. Just watch. It's all going to come together. 
Well, you're gonna have to put it all over your whole, whole body <laughs> to make it fun. It's very light, okay? <laughs> your scalp. I do work it into the scalp, all right? Okay, here you go. I think that the, um, the darker the, one is I, probably better. I think the me. darker one yeah. looks good on your skin. Yeah, me too. Because it's not, here it is, it's not so which, what, super what, yellow. What is this called? N uh, nude honey. Embarrassing name. <laughs> That's Pat McGrath for you. I don't know. Do you want contour like me? I don't know what that is. Okay, so I'm going to do a little contour. This is the Westman Atelier Face Trace Stick. What's the point? To make it your just bones? Like, yeah, yeah, it just like makes you look a little more like sculpted. Here, I'll show you how to do it. See how it just kind of like... Oh, that's very nice. I'll try that. You want to try that out? Put it like yeah. there because if you put right it under down the bone. there, it's yeah. going to be like so low. It's like a facelift. Oh, you think so? <laughs> oh, that is very interesting. I forgot to mention, friends, very we are actually, we're celebrating Easter tomorrow. A lot of you guys probably celebrated Easter last weekend, but we are Greek Orthodox, so we're celebrating it tomorrow so we actually are going out to dinner after we do this look and then we're going to a midnight mass so this is our easter kind of like pre-dinner church look that we're gonna wear out afterwards she's using the bk beauty 101 in the travel size oh that's a nice color for you mom it is what do you think of the texture light and easy to apply right no these products are amazing <laughs> I mean, they're like so simple and it's like, it makes such a difference. Right? Just like that little bit. Such a difference. Makes a difference. And it's like, you can't even really see it. It just blends right in. Yeah. That's amazing. Now we're going to go in with blush. So show them the blush that you have. I think you guys know what this blush is. This is from the Chanel Spring Collection. I did see that this came back in stock. So run if you guys missed it. So my mom's going to be applying that. Yeah, it's sort of like a two-tone shimmery yeah. type of look. Yeah, so okay. she's got a Sonia G smooth here, here. buffer. Yeah. Oh, I don't think I should put too much of this. It actually looks really nice so far, mm -hmm. though. Like, it's like a nice little pinkiness. Yeah. Very, very subtle. I'm not sure if I want to use the Chanel Tendress palette or if I want to use the Jones Road bronzer as a no, blush. I need to use this. She wants me to use this, so we're yeah. going to do that. Maybe I'll start off with the brown mm -hmm. shade. Yeah. This shade is super light. I think I'll go in with this highlighter so that it's a little bit more spring. You get like your hair here. Oh, oh yeah, my hair's stuck to my... Okay, so for highlighter, my mom is gonna be using the... Or do you want highlighter? I don't know what a highlighter do. You would put this like right here. Maybe, just to give a little bit of shine. Yeah, this is... 002 Coral Cruise. I'll let you use this. Okay. It's kind I have of like never a light. used this before or anything of this sort. So you just want to put it like on the high points of the mm -hmm. cheek. Boy, there's a lot of layers of stuff on my skin right now. <laughs> yeah, last time we did your makeup products. Right. What do you think you want from the Sephora sale? Me? Yeah. All the stuff that you had me put on. Uh, all of this stuff? <laughs> Is it just like a little sparkle? Yeah. It's okay, like, I get it. You may not notice it until you're like, you know, Okay. Looking at yourself in the mirror and like some light gets onto your cheek. I'm gonna go in with this shade from the Tendress. That's nice. So oh, I see how you, you can lay see it. like yeah, yeah, you can probably see it. Like I can't even see it on myself sometimes, and then when you're at the right angle, you can see it. I like to put it up here as well. Okay, now we're gonna do eyeshadow, and I'm gonna show you guys the palettes that you voted on. So the first palette was the Guerlain Summer palette. This one didn't win, but this is the one that I'm going to use. My mom told me she wanted me to use this one. Because I don't see how she's going to make that work. But... She has no idea, like, <laughs> what, how to use this. It's a little too out there for her. So I guess I'll show her how we like to use it. Mm -hmm. And then the other palette was the Chanel Spring. So that was the other one that didn't win. I was actually a little bit surprised that didn't win. Then we had Dior. Eden Rock from the Summer Collection. They're all beautiful. Yeah, they're all nice palettes. And then the one that you guys voted for, that one by a landslide, I think it was 44% of you voted for this. It is the Tom Ford Hazy Sensuality from the Summer Palette Collection. And I know a lot of you guys got this palette and you really like it. I know it's a little hard to find, so I will link all the retailers where I know it's in stock right now down below in case you guys want it. Here you go, mom. What am I supposed to just wing it here? Yeah, like tell them what, tell them how you would 
use it and it doesn't have to be like okay so any, it's just how you would use it i will say i'm a little concerned because i have noticed that the cool colors on my skin mm -hmm. tend to make me look tired well this is pretty neutral it's not okay. too cool so i think you'll be all right i mean two of them are a little on the warmer side you know these two colors here i'm thinking i'm gonna go with that this one right here yeah it's more on the um warmer side she's going in with that nude shade it looks actually a lot warmer than it looks on the palette i'm yeah. gonna start off with the brown shade here from the guerlain palette and i'm gonna put that i think kind of like in the crease right here see now i would never have thought that that would look on your face the way that it looks on there <laughs> what were you expecting? Much darker. You thought it'd be much darker? Much darker. Well, it's really just a neutral, yeah, a shiny, beautiful color. Well, yeah, all of these brands we're using because they're more luxury. They're a little bit more like soft yeah. and kind of effortless and like mm -hmm. not crazy. How are you going to use the pink? I think I might combine it with that warmer brown. And where are you going to put that? The crease of my eye. In the crease? Yeah. Okay. I was thinking of mixing these two colors so that this purple is a little more warm for my skin. So I think I'm going to mix them both. And Sophia suggested that I put them on the outer edge. So I'll see what that looks like with this brush. That way you can see them a little bit more. I mean, they're really pretty colors. I'm going to do something like this. I think I'm going to go in with the gold and put that all over the eye because I haven't really done that yet with this palette. Okay, so having put this like darker color on the outside edge, how about I put this purple color in the crease? Yeah, mm -hmm. try okay. it on, see if you like that. Okay, that makes sense. The gold with the brown. So so pretty what do you think I'm not done yet yeah I like it are you gonna put some kind of warmer tone like that purple in there yeah I'm trying yeah. to figure out what I, I think do. that'll be a nice balance <laughs> this looks better than I thought it would yeah I like this you like it mm-hmm let me see that looks very nice now I think I need something lighter right under my brow well that first shade in the palette is very um sparkly this one here uh, this one right there. It has really? a little more shimmer. So I use that as like a topper. I would never have or like guessed in that. in the inner corner. You can use it as a highlight shade. I'm just putting the gold from the Guerlain palette in my inner corner. The first ever review that I made for my channel was a review of a Guerlain lipstick. And then after I uploaded the video, my mom told me I was pronouncing Guerlain wrong. <laughs> and I was like, no, everyone's gonna think I'm a fraud. <laughs> But it's okay, no one was mean, no one said anything. <laughs> okay, so I just applied the lavender shade here, kind of just like on the outer corner and under eye. And then I'm just going back in with the brown and kind of redefining the crease a little bit. And then I'm gonna use the blue shade as a liner on the top lash line. Mm. My mom is also going to use a liner. So she's got, I actually gifted this to her for Christmas, I think. So this is the Victoria Beckham, show, you wanna show it to them? This is the Victoria Beckham Satin Casual Liner in the shade Bronze. This is my favorite color. So she's gonna use this. I think this will look actually really good with this palette. Ooh, That's very nice. I'm gonna wet my brush. Hmm, that looks beautiful. You wouldn't think it no, goes, but like it- and the lavender and it yeah, looks beautiful. It's supposed to be, see the cover? Yeah, you, a lot of you guys yeah, know what this looks yeah. like. The eyeliner was very, very easy to apply and uh, I think it looks pretty good. Did you use the little smudger? No, I didn't have to. You didn't have to? Well, do you think I have to? I don't think so. I mean, it, it goes yeah, it's on very, so It's easily. very creamy. Yeah. yeah, super easy. It's so creamy. Okay, so my mom is going in with a little bit of her hourglass powder and she is just blending around the edges of her look. My look. Just to soften it up. I did the same around the edges of my, my eye. My, I'm basically just, today, my eye I, I'm doing whatever Sophia suggested. <laughs> She's learning so many tips. <laughs> yeah, I'm actually surprised at how well uh, what we're doing works out, so. I feel like every time we do this, you find things yeah. you want me you want to buy <laughs> yeah true okay guys now we're gonna go in with mascara so show them which ones you have in your collection well i don't know if i call it a collection <laughs> uh i have the cali ray i do like this a lot i think that it's a got to be a different chemical makeup because it I don't know how to express it it's a tubing formula yeah it goes on like it's a sort glove of, over yeah. your lash so that when it comes off, it comes off like a glove. Um, that's a good. That's a yeah. good explanation. So it, it, it doesn't 
would wear off if you tear up or you know your eyes tear in the wind because yeah, you would have to have watery. the whole glove come off it's kind of more resistant to wearing off and yet it's still easy to take off at the end of the day um, my prior favorite had been the hourglass which I, I have no problem with it's just that it's different from the Cali Ray I guess now yeah, I'm a little bit those are my two spoiled favorites. with this you know newer technology that's in the Cali Ray and then Sophia gave me the just now the Chanel this the is the problem volume I have Chanel. with the Chanel is I think this is probably better for shorter lashes, lashes. because it's very much like a um, it only kind of gets on the surface so if you have very few if you have very few lashes it's not making them look any thicker mm, okay. it doesn't you have to like keep working it, working it, working it, working it to get it onto your lashes. Oh, okay. So, Which one do you think is your favorite? I think the Cali Ray. Yeah. But the Hourglass I used for several years and like that too. Okay. Which one do you want The Hourglass use? is nice and it goes on smooth. It makes your lashes look thicker, but it was a little more prone to wearing off on my lower lids because I have dry eye and I tend to tear. So I'm going to use the Cali Ray. All right. So we've got our mascara on. I actually used the Hourglass Unlocked because that's one of the ones that I have. How do you think the Kelly Ray? Wow, that looks good. good. The Kelly yeah, Ray looks good. <laughs> it looks so good. It looks even I better than mine. I like a minute and a half. Yeah, too. you're a lot faster. I messed mine up and I had to fix it. So I did my brows ahead of time. I just used the Kosas Brow Pop. My mom actually just got her eyebrows microbladed. She gets them touched up like that was 14 year. days ago yeah 14 days you want to tell them how you like the microblading uh good i think that it's um i mean you you really look like hell for the 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 first like seven days when your brows are yeah, yeah. And you just look so dark now i feel like it's day 14 and it looks good yeah it looks like yeah, it looks natural. natural yeah my eyebrows are actually microbladed as well but they're a little faded so i think i'm gonna get them but you put up. stuff up on top of them. Yeah, right? I just put a little bit of this. You guys know, you like the Kosas brow pop. So I, I kind of just fill them in a little bit. But at least when I don't wear makeup, it looks more like I have brows since my hair is so fine. Like my, if you look at photos of me from like middle school and high school, we didn't know how to, we didn't know about doing your brows back then like kids do now and so my brows were like the hair was there but my brows were so light that it kind of just mm -hmm. I don't know I kind of looked a little bit washed out so then when I went to college I like learned how to do my brows from like some lady at Sephora who was like let me do your makeup and then it was like oh my gosh this looks so much better <laughs> but um I highly recommend the micro bleeding and so does my mom it's a cup it's a little bit like pricey but it lasts a yeah. long time so it's kind of like and the then you don't have to mess with them every day although I, uh, what i really would like to invent it is that there's some way to dye just individual gray hairs gotta individual be. hairs yeah, it's gotta be why don't you just use a brow pomade i don't know what to that just is. like put a little bit through just another thing to put on the list or Rush we could just my um, start a fashion trend with white eyebrows oh that is a trend right yeah. now colored brows oh, i thought i was gonna invent it we should do another video where we like react to makeup trends. Why cite nature? It's like frizzy hair. I think it yeah, should be a trend. It should, yeah, we should make that a trend. Mm. Oh, do you want to unbox your Prezi? So we've got an unboxing in this video as well. Some of you all know I purchased this for my mom. And How do they all know? Because I told them <laughs> I told them in the review of this I product. <laughs> I told them in the review that I bought I said I bought this one for my mom. So she's gonna unbox this right now and give you her first impression. Okay, show them what it looks ah, like. Very pretty. It's like in this nice muslin pouch. It's not perfume. Nope. It's so let's see. Okay, it looks like stuff for the lips. So it is one of the lipstick cases mm, and one of the beautiful. lipsticks. This is the shade 59, which is a beautiful like rosewood shade. Mm, that looks pretty. Yeah, I looks thought very, this will go looks well with the look. A little springy. Mm -hmm. You guys voted well because right. it goes with the <laughs> lipstick. Oh, this goes with this. Yes, okay. you have one of these. Yes, I do. All right, so this is from the Floral Denim Collection. Beautiful. It matches the eyeshadow palette that I use, oh, yeah. and I don't know. I don't know if you guys know this. Some of you may know this if you follow me on Instagram because I'm always posting photos whenever I come home here to New Jersey. But my mom loves to garden. She has a beautiful garden, and so I had to get her 
this lipstick case as like an Easter Mother's Day oh, present because nice. I saw this and I was like, oh, that's just like the perfect gift for her. So I get that too? No, you don't get this. This is sold out. <laughs> um, do you want to tell them what you like to grow in your garden? I try to grow things that are indigenous to New Jersey, which is not a lot of stuff. So I like to grow all perennials. I have some peonies that my mom gave me I think 45 years ago. Oh, I wow. still have them growing in the garden. I love lilies, digitalis, roses, hostas, you name it. I have a very wide variety. I really love it. If you guys missed out yeah. on like the rosy bloom shade that came out with the last one, you might want to check, yeah, lift it up a little bit. You might want to check out this one. Here, we can swatch it on my skin tone too. So we have. It's really pretty. It's. It's wow. like a, it's almost I like an azalea, an I need azalea to get this color. Shade. Actually, let me do a comparison with Rosy Bloom. Let me do a quick little comparison for you guys so you can see the difference. Mm. Rosy Bloom, it is more, deeper. Yeah. Sherry color. It's, yeah. I feel like it's looking a lot more different on camera than it does in real life. This is just as pretty and you know feminine and soft mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. as the Rosy Bloom. So if you wanted something that was a similar tone, Number 59 is really good. In fact, mm. I think maybe next time they come out with a, a new case, I will probably get that color because it's so nice. Okay, you want to apply that? Sure. Which color should I Does use? Does it say anything? Oh, to mommy XX. Oh yeah, it, I forgot. I got this one engraved. Mm. To mommy XX for like a Mother's Day thing. Thank you, sweetie. You're welcome. Mm. Wait, you have to do it on camera. Okay, so my mom was so excited that she already put the... <laughs> She already put it on, but it we're was gonna just like show you what it looks like. On. She put, would you use Lisa Eldridge, Lisa Eldridge Velvet Muse as a lip liner? What do you think of the lip liner now that you've had it for a while? Oh, excellent. It's very easy to apply, smooth. Nice. It tends to last, like, yeah. you know, if I'm eating something. Yeah. Like wow, that's a nice color. Isn't it? It really oh. is like a springy color. <laughs> it's not too bright. I'm going to put on, my mom told me to do the rosy bloom. 50, so I'm going to put that my on. age for the past four years. Yeah. <laughs> How old are you? 61 One and a half. And a half. Yeah. I just turned 32. I don't need any lip liner for this because this is a pretty neutral shade for me. It's almost the same color as my lips, except a little bit darker. That's beautiful color. It complements the lavender in the edge of yeah, your lips. It's nice Very for nice. a spring look. All right, let me take my hair down so we can look we can check out the final look. Do you want to show them your favorite spring fragrance? Well, what have you been liking <laughs> lately? So I've been using this Rose 31. Oh, um, Le Labo Rose yeah, 31. Yeah, I wear it. It's pretty much what I use at work. If you don't like Rose, I think you will still like Who doesn't like, like this. Rose? Some people don't like it. And I kind of understand like sometimes Rose fragrances, they're very powdery and they smell a little bit. But it's, it's like, like babies baby and everybody powdery. likes babies. <laughs> I have the Rose 31 from Le Labo as well, and I like it because there's something slightly green mm. about it. it. It's not too fresh and light, but it's also not too heavy. Like it's just a perfectly balanced rose like scent. But it, I don't, yeah, I don't think that it screams rose. I think it's that- It's not cloying. No. It's, it's light, it's it, light. It has like an interesting complexity, but I don't like fragrances that are so heavy. They're just kind of overwhelming. Um, the one that I use, I actually went and used one today. I used yeah, this Yeah, that's a nice one. Yeah, one of my favorites that my mom has here that I used earlier is the Jo Malone Fig and Lotus Flower. This is really, really nice because it doesn't just smell super fruity like a fig. It smells like a fig leaf. Well, if yeah, you, it's the you, fig tree. Yeah, it's if the you've whole... ever been around it, this smells like a fig tree. It's wonderful. Our family lives in Greece, and when we go to Greece, we walk down to the beach. There's like a little path that goes down to the beach, and it'll be super hot. You can like hear the cicadas. When the sun hits the fig tree, you can smell like that green and mm. fruity smell. It smells like the unique. sun on a fig leaf. Like that's yeah. what it smells like. And then it's balanced out with the lotus mm -hmm. flower, which is kind of just very light and refreshing. Mm. It's really good yeah. um, spring and summer you scent agree. if you guys like Joe Malone. This is the final look, guys. Let's do a quick roundup of all the things and you can tell people what you thought. Let's start off with the clay de po. What do you think of this? Uh, Sounds like you want this Definitely now. want that. <laughs> 
you. Okay, so she loved this. Two thumbs up. Same with that. Okay, what do you think about? Same thing. You Definitely, liked this. Yeah, very, what, do you, what do you like about it? It's so creamy and it blended in perfectly. So easy to apply. Quick, it's fast. It feels su good. It's such a good concealer. Um, and and both of them look like they are light reflective. So they made me look a little younger, I think. It honestly looks yeah. so good. Like Thank the clay de Peau looks so good. Thank you, Sophie. <laughs> I, she, my mom doesn't normally wear foundation really all yeah. that much. Or she has good skin. But it really does look so good. Um, okay, what do you think of the Pat McGrath bronzer? I thought that was amazing. I never used a bronzer before and okay. I would definitely want to use that again. What did you think of the tone? Uh, perfect. You like Okay, so you yep. liked the nude honey. It, you don't see the makeup on my face. It just looks like maybe I had a glass of red wine or I yeah. came back from vacation or something. How do you think the lighter one, I always forget, I keep forgetting the name, Naked Desire. How do you think this one looks on me? Good. Looks very good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I have a review of these guys if you want to see in like better quality light. Oh, so it, look. look, it looks natural. It doesn't look <laughs> yes, like I'm looking natural. at your makeup. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. What next? Okay. So what do you think of this? Very blush? much like that. Do you think, mm -hmm. how do you think this looks on like your more mature skin? I think it looks good. Like I was afraid of something too bright and pinky. I thought it would be like, you know, trying to pretend I was a preteen or something. Yeah. It, it, it doesn't look as like bubble gum as it, right. as it looks. Exactly. I like to kind of layer it on a little bit more. For it just looks that like look, bubble gum but... in there, that color, but it it's really, not. It really, it looks like like Barbie. That's what exactly. it reminds me of. Barbie like pink. maybe mm -hmm. a cherry blossom. Okay. What did you think about Tom Ford? He's essentiality. All four of the colors were useful and I like it very much. I don't think it's making me look tired. I don't know why. I, I like it a lot. I love it actually. I think that was a good idea you had of blending the colors together. So like if you want something to be a little bit more brown, you can blend the pink and the brown. Or if you want it to be lighter, you could blend mix I think These also together. your point about just putting it on the outside is probably a good one. And also that you, can you said it. to use that one, which I wouldn't have thought, uh, under my brow, definitely it comes off lighter than it looks on the palette. We forgot about this. What did you think about this? Where did I put that? Oh, on the cheek, on like the cheekbones. I'm not sure that it added anything. What do you think? I think it looks nice, but probably not as necessary if you use this. Right. But Agreed. it was fun to try. Oh, we forgot it's a little more spark. We forgot to talk about the the Westman Atelier, the contour stick. Oh yeah, that I thought was amazing. I yeah, think this I looks really yeah, good. I, on you. I, I'm shocked. Would you buy this yes, yourself? Definitely. Yeah. What do we think of? Show the, the get the lipstick. I love this color lipstick. You, okay. Especially this time of the year. Yeah. It's not too pink, but it's a little azalea pink. I it's got very you, spring and summer. I got you the wearable color just so like you can keep that in your purse so you don't have to yeah. switch it mm -hmm. out or really think about it. Okay. So that is the these are the final looks. Can you get a little closer, Mom? What do you think was your favorite thing that you used today? It sounds like you pretty much loved everything. I, so I really good. did. I think what strikes me is that I would never have gotten any of these things on my own because I, when I see them, it's like, I don't know what to do with them. But I liked a lot of, almost everything. I didn't really have to show you much of what to do. Maybe other Yeah, it was easy. Contour. And I think that it looks pretty natural. Like, I think I could even go to work like this. So what do you think of the look overall? I like it. Especially for springtime, because it's a little, little pinky. It's a yeah. nice, happy, happy look. Thanks, Sophie. All right. You're welcome. <laughs> the best. I should have mentioned, guys, this was the first time my mom was using a lot of these brands, like Clay de Poe and Tom Ford. After the video, she had me order every single product that we use because she was so obsessed with her makeup look and she really enjoyed them all. We were able to find Hazy Sensuality, the Chanel blush was in stock, everything. She wanted it all. So we ordered it for her after the video. All right, friends, that concludes this video. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to comment down below. Let us know what you thought of these products. So let us know what you thought of this look. Are there any more videos that you want us to do in the future? Maybe the next time that I'm home. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you like it. I will link all these products down below. I know a couple of these were limited edition and they were sold out, but hopefully we gave you guys some inspiration for a fun little spring look. Um, is there any last thing you want to say? No, enjoy your gardens if you have them. We hope you guys are having a wonderful spring season and I will see you in my next one. Goodbye!